the next winner of the World Cup, right? Like at the very start when they're all the odds mint, and they end up winning, right? I'm going back like, at least a fucking couple hundred grand, right? To save that to the next about, World Cup. About hundred grand. Yeah. Right. Right. Nah, I fucking stretch that off, mate. The next time it comes to the World Cup, I'll probably have about fucking seventy grand saved still. Whack that on, mate. What's that? Seven hundred grand. Thirty years, mate. I'll be a fucking gazillionaire, mate. Why don't you just do it for the next fucking fifty years? Then? I'll just fucking save forever then. Alright. Or, I'll just think fucking. Yeah, the Euro Millions numbers isn't a bad idea. <laughs> and what is, what, what's, the ne what's the next like, fucking 30 Euro Millions numbers and you just yeah, win every single one then, consecutive? What if, right, you win Euro Millions five times in a row, you've got three men in black at your door, mate? Well, I think if I guess the World Cup ones and all, I'll probably be in a bit of fucking shit. Nah, mate, you'll be late. I reckon, I reckon if you just started cutting all the streets of Darlow with all that information, you'd have the fucking aliens, mate. You probably have the fucking men in black at your door. Yeah, but I'm not gonna go on telling people I don't care. I won't mate, it doesn't matter, mate. You don't know how advanced these men in black are, mate. Mate, they can't read the fucking, fucking mind. read your mind with the, the fucking cut, mate. Well, then, so fuck, I'll listen, no. You won't know for long, mate. They'll come fucking brainwash you. I'll just knock it, I'll check your Facebook status up there, tell everyone. Mate, they'll take it down, mate. They can't. Mate, they will. Mate, it's against Facebook's TOS, lad. Fucking not. That's the thing. Nah, to be fair, right? Imagine, I think my question is when asking what would happen after you die. Like, imagine if he said to you, like, oh, you, you reincarnate. Oh, like, you fucking go to heaven or something. It's just like, bliss is funny. But who needs to roll millions, right? If you can just die and go to heaven anyway, like, who gives a fuck? Yeah, but then, you could have money, don't you, man? You know, but in heaven, I doubt you even need money, mate. You probably just get fucking given things, whatever you want anyway. You probably just think to somebody that comes to you because it's fucking heaven. Yeah, I, love how, I, love how I love how we're sat there asking for like mysteries and that and we could be curing cancer I think. Fuck that mate, I don't even have cancer. Why the fuck would I give? Sure. Do you know what is right, even if I had won the Euro Millions by I cancer, right, I'd still live at large. I don't even give a fuck. <laughs> With that amount of money, right, I could buy like, a little fucking be a hospital bed place. that could travel. Like, I'd just get a hospital bed there, I'll, I'll be sat on like, a surfboard on my hospital bed, have the most advanced hospital bed ever made. I'll be hooked up some machine there, keep me alive, right? And I'll still be living my best life. <sighs> Catch me at the club, neck and shot, still, mate. I'm not even bothered. Not even asked. Not, not even bothered one bit, mate. I'll just go to the fucking Maldives and go to that underwater hotel, just lay there in my deathbed, looking up. <laughs> <laughs> looking up. Just looking up, mate. Just looking up and seeing all. Uh. You know what, mate? Because fucking lived a good life. Yeah, oh, but it'll be nice if you knew what happens. It'll be pretty mint to know what happened to Maddie McCann, but I've had to waste a question, because I, yeah, I, I reckon I already know that. Yeah, I already know that she's it'll dead. Her parents fucking what sold her. Nah, mate, what's your theory on that there? I think that I've got a mint one, she did get kidnapped, but her parents don't care as much as to make out. And now she's just dead. I feel like... Because like, they were all out on the fucking piss, right? They just wanted their kids to go out of bed so they could go out on the piss with no fucking hassle, right? I reckon the like, fucking drug the wall, right? Like, to, with like sleeping pills, mate, all go to sleep and they accidentally overdosed her. Or she had like, an allergic reaction to it. And then they came in, seeing that she was fucking brown bread chocolate spread on the bed. <sighs> and they just fucking. They just probably fucking flopped it, mate. They're like, fuck it, we're gonna get found out here, so we need to do something. I don't know, like. That's why they, they threw it, mate. They threw it in the fucking freezer, mate. The fucking Netherland. They did, mate. They've put her in the fucking freezer, mate. They've fucking rented a car out, put her in the boot, and went car. Yeah, mate. The fucking the sniffer dogs aren't wrong, mate. How do you even know? But the fucking sniffer dogs are the smartest fuck. I don't know why you know that. Mate, go tell the sniffer dog it's wrong. There you. What's he gonna do? Sniff me out? Probably, mate. You'll probably fucking smell every bad decision you've ever made in your life, mate. You just crash you in. No, please, dog. It was a little pussy sniffer dog, man. It'll snitch. It was literally a police sniffer dog. Yeah, but you get different. You get like the fucking big dirty German shepherds, don't you? And then you get the little shitty border collies that sniff stuff. Yeah, the both literally police dogs. Yeah, but one of them ravages kids, the other one sniffs stuff. Yeah. The other one sniffs stuff there to find out where we're going, mate. That border collie's gonna sniff, like, yep, Owen's over here. Border Collie, I mean, steps out of the way, German Shepherd comes flying yeah, through, you know mate. You can't fucking, fucking sniff, mate. My fucking rock part when it's coming at him. <laughs>